In this video, I'll be showing you how to use AutoDraft in ZW3D. First select the tool in the ribbon tab and select Auto Drafting in the insert panel. Then if you can see here, we could see if we've made layers in our part or assemblies. We can select which part or layer we want to add in our drawing. You can also uncheck the Include Current Object to unselect the assembly. You can also choose your part by picking it from the displayed entities. Next, we head over to the Sheet tab in which we can customize the sheet type, what file we want to use, and also what sheet size or template we can use. There are three sheet types which are all in one drawing, one object for each, and one file for each. All in one drawing is as it says, every part of the assemblies will be saved in the current Z3 file, and it will insert the drawing in one singular file. One object each is also saved in Z3 file, but the file can be separated or within the current file, and as the name suggests, it chooses only one part in each drawing. As for one file for each, we need to adjust the location to a folder by clicking Browse next to the Path tab, since it'll be multiple and separate file for each part of the assembly. Before we move on to the View section, be sure to pick a template by clicking the down arrow button beneath the Sheet Size tab. As you can see, we now can choose our regular template or the template that we've made in advance. Also, don't forget to check the same settings for all sheets, so all the other parts will have the exact same settings as the one we just edited. In the View section, we can set our original layouts, like America or Europe's projection, if we want to add maybe isometric, front, bottom view, etc., all we need to do is to click the blocks in which they're highlighted at. We can also set the details of the part by clicking these icons and also set the scale to whatever we want. We can use an automatic scale, same scale as sheet scale, or custom it for ourselves. In Dimension section, we can automatically create dimensions of the part just by clicking the box in the left corner of the icon view. We can also add our own settings, as in creating arcs, holes, lines dimensions, as well as coordinate dimensions. We can also edit the linear types of the dimensions and all other options. We can also input our bill of materials and hole table in the drawing sheet but we must calculate it from the sheet's height and length by percentages. Here's the result of our auto drafting with our own customization. Although the dimensions and the auto balloons kind of collide with each other, we can still move it around since we didn't check the group in the auto dimension section. Same as the bill of materials and hole tables. If we didn't accurately calculate the percentages for the sheet size and its border, we can just move it to an accurate place by point. If you want to input the percentages, just know that the location settings resembles of which corner of the table will be the indicator as your mouse cursor. As you can see here, 